Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Sock Modify YouTube channel. My name is Andrew Garza. I'm a beer host today, and we're gonna install a head unit. How's that sound? You know, normally we do all the videos on the, on the Japanese car stuff, but I did a head unit video before, and it actually did really well. So we're gonna do another one. Let's go out to the car and check out what we got. So, this is my girlfriend's 2011 CT200. Um, we got this car for her because uh, her Beamer, which is over there in the cut, um, getting up there in the miles and uh, I didn't I didn't want her to drive something like that so I said hey what car do you really like and she said I really like the CT200 I was like well let's find you one so she's been driving this thing around for I don't know like a month and she loves it only thing is the damn uh, the damn Bluetooth doesn't want to work for some reason this is a 2011 it's a non nav model which I think is the better model because if you buy an old car navigation the navigation usually sucks you don't really need Navigate. I mean, if it's a brand new car and it has navigation, cool. But dude, old car, you don't need it. So I was like, yeah, man. We found, you know, the model that she liked with the freaking brown interior and got all the room. But yeah, this shit don't work. So if you press this damn here power button, I don't know how to work this car at all, but it says BTA no connect. The only way to connect the Bluetooth is to do it through voice command. Guess what doesn't work? voice command so she hasn't been able to connect to bluetooth she's been plugging her phone into this cord and she's been playing it that way but this new head unit is the bees knees i've seen a lot of reviews on it on reddit i found this on reddit and a lot of people have good experiences with this and we'll see how it is to install it came with no instructions came from aliexpress came here in about seven days since i ordered it and the guys were on it. Their customer service is good so far. Um, I do recommend if you buy this head unit, put in the comments, send me directions because they didn't do that. But anyways, let's get to taking this dash apart and let's see if we can get this figured out. There we go, much better. I had to, uh, I had to throw a freaking, what's it called on the windshield? The glare was so bad. So according to the internet, this really shouldn't be that hard. Basically everything on clips and then on four uh, 10 mils and then the radio comes right out, hopefully. So we hit this one first. We'll, we'll try to hit this one first. Should just pop. Yep, there we go. Pops out. Oh, that's out. Didn't break it. Sweet. And these, he said, they just pull up. Oh yeah, he's not lying. They just pull up. Pull up again. We gotta open the armrest, it looks like. So we'll open that up. Oh my god, this whole car just fucking pulls right apart. Oh, I think these are supposed to be, yep, separate. Couple plugs here. You can unplug them or you can just toss them to the side. I'm just gonna toss them to the side. I got some more towels because this car is actually kind of nice. I don't want to mess anything up. And then there's another piece it comes out, looks like, a little separate from the radio. I wonder, yep, I was gonna say, I wonder if that just unclips too. Sure does. We'll get this over the shifter. Yoink. Damn, there that goes. Shit, we're already, we, we out here. And then it looks like we need one, two, three, four, ten mils. And, uh, then I think that's it, you just unplug it. So we're gonna unplug it, we're gonna look at the plugs, we're gonna see what the kit came with, and we're gonna see how to plug the new one in. I heard that this head unit is for the non-nav models only. I believe the nav models have like a different head unit that you could put in here, something fancier. But um, yeah, so if yours doesn't have a screen on it, and I think it's like, I don't know, pre-2012 or something like that, it's probably gonna look like this. But dude, whoever freaking did this sucked because I couldn't get the head unit out. I had to freaking squeeze my freaking hand back there. It's all freaking scratched up and I had to unplug them all without even looking. So I'm gonna go get the new head unit. I'm gonna see what kind of plugs we got there. And yeah. So technically we're gonna do an unboxing even though I already opened it because I was excited. Okay, here's the head unit. I don't know how they fit it all in there, but they did. They put it in this box and then they put this box in a bigger box and it came from China in seven days. So. We're gonna start pulling everything out. This thing has so many functions that I don't even know what's up. So we're just gonna throw out everything on the table and then we'll figure it out from there. Cool thing about this new head unit is it's freaking one quarter of the size of the old one. So hopefully it should go in a lot easier. The old one was really hard to wiggle out. 
if you're not careful, you're gonna scratch everything. Comes with a microfiber for some strange reason. So let's get all this out of the packaging. Okay, so being a no instruction deal, which I'm I'm amazed at like their customer support and their shipping and all that, but I really guess you have to ask for instructions because that's crazy. They just think we're some type of magicians or some. Here's a stock head in it. I gotta tell you, it probably weighs about 10 pounds. This thing weighs a pound. Thickness, really thin. Five times as thick. So if this actually works, this is gonna be a great, great, great alternative. So comes with brackets. So you gotta bolt those on. I just found some bolts and the screws in a bag that I was gonna throw away. So I'm glad I saved those. So we have those. And I already looked on the back of the head unit. This right here is pretty much how you're gonna mount them. So you got four screws right here. And then on this one, a little better, you only got two screws. So that's how we're gonna mount it. And then look at all the plugs back here. This is like a regular head unit plug. And then it's got all this fancy shit. And it's got, looks like it's got an optical port, antenna, GPS. Uh, Wi-Fi 5G, which is not there because it's not the option that I've got because I didn't care. It has 4G. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to use that. So here are the two antennas for GPS and 4G. If you wanted to put those in, you could. I don't really give a shit. Um, we're going to see if um, it will connect to a hotspot without these antennas because uh, that way we can have internet. There's a bunch of other little stuff that plugs in here. You see these plugs right here, a bunch of extra stuff. This, for some reason, you can put a SIM card in. And then if you have your, uh, your sound system, you can connect all this stuff, audio left, audio right. Um, we are going to plug this in because we do need the microphone plug, which is right here. Because it also does come with the microphone. We're going to go ahead and throw this up on the A-pillar while we're at it because uh, she likes to talk on the phone. It looks like it has... A microphone down here in the bottom corner but that's probably gonna suck so um, we're not even gonna bother with that and then it has another plug for a USB so in case you want to plug in your phone and charge it I'm going to try to find a way to integrate this one into the stock port we'll see how that goes because I'm, I'm sure the stock one's not gonna work anymore so we're gonna have to try to figure that out um, antenna so the antenna comes right here so depending on which car you have, they send you two different plugs. So there's this plug right here with um, with the CAN bus decoder. And then there's this plug over here with just a bunch of regular plugs. So you got to find out which plugs you have in your car. So I'm going to take both of these over there and I'm going to find out which plugs plug in. We're going to go ahead and get everything plugged in and then we will re-evaluate. Uh, Okay guys, we got it in. We've been messing around with it for the last half an hour. Now there's this thing on top of here. I noticed none of the plugs went to anything on the new unit. So what I did is I unbolted this thing and I plugged it back in and the stereo actually sounded better. So I believe it's an amplifier. Um, so there's since there's no directions, I went ahead and plugged it back in. Since the radio is so much thinner, we're just gonna take it and stash it back there, no problem. Um, I am gonna put this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, start fishing this through. But first, I kinda wanna go over the the video like what what we had going on in, the, in this whole video oh cool there's another usb i don't know there's two of them one of them charges it hey can you turn it down so i can copyright it all right so let's go over this real quick so at first i was a little upset because a lot of these plugs didn't plug into anything and i was originally triggered because the the steering wheel controls weren't working and i was like man fuck this you know like so I freaking, I kind of rage messaged the, the company who sold me the radio, but um, I'm gonna have to message them back and say, I'm sorry. So there's these that don't plug into anything anymore. There's this one and these two, they don't plug into shit. Um, there's just basically one, two, three plugs that I plugged in. I don't know what the hell this does. I um, Basically, I think this just depends on what type of car you have because when I went to plug this one in, barely anything plugged in, only one plug. So I knew it wasn't this one. But also on here, it gives you the antenna plug and it gives you the uh, it gives you the USB charging port. Um, there is another USB port too that you could plug into the back of the radio. I don't know if that's 
pretty much how you uh, can connect. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna plug this in and make sure, cause this one only does charging. So if this one can play music through, then maybe we'll just hook up this one instead. I'm not really sure how that works, but this comes with a decoder because something, I don't know, something's pretty complicated and they figured it out. So let's just go over this radio real quick. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to make it pretty easy to understand. So there's a main menu, right? It'll take you here when you first fire it up. Now, I'm pretty sure you can adjust this, but this takes you pretty much everywhere you need to go. If you want the radio, it'll take you to the radio, and if you go back, which is the circle, it takes you back to the screen. If you wanna to go to your apps, you go here. Now, the first thing I would do if I were you is hook up your Bluetooth. So here's your Bluetooth right here. You go ahead and click on it. You can change the name of the Bluetooth right here. It's called Car Kit Blink. You could change your password. You could change the microphone game, volume game all that stuff so hook up your phone so me and my girl have our phones hooked up it's on her phone right now um, she wanted to be able to play radio it was important to her so um, we were able to set up the radio we got all of her channels here on the apps so either the radio is basically an app so you can go to the radio and here's all of her favorite channels and then we had we had set up carplay so we went here went here and then you go to I moved all these around to make it easier for her. I went to T-Link 5, and once you're already connected to Bluetooth, it will automatically connect to CarPlay. So depending on what you're doing, if you're listening to the radio and you wanna to listen to, for example, your Spotify, you just click on here, it'll load up. And if you wanna to listen to Rufus, then you just press play, and it should transfer over. So once you press play, it'll play on here. And ask me, ask me, I'm talking over the music because I don't want to get copyrighted. Ask me how we got the serial buttons to work. They don't originally just work right off the bat. You have to get them to work. There's a few things you could do. You can either swipe down to bring up this menu, swipe down again, sorry. So you swipe down twice basically. And there's all of these things. So you can do through here, you can go to settings and then you can go to original and you can go to steering wheel. Or if you go to this original menu and you go to the map menu, you can click on steering wheel. And it allows you to assign everything you wanna do. So say you wanna assign your volume up and your volume down button. So here's your volume up button. So all you do is you press start and then you find your volume up button, right? You press start, you say here's volume up, you press that and then it goes, okay, what do you wanna assign it to? And then you press your volume up button and then you press done. So we have volume up, volume down, next song, previous song. And then when you press mode, we have mode takes you right to the app screen. So you can click on, for example, if you wanna click on your T-Link, you press mode again. If you wanna click on the steering wheel thing, you can click on that, press mode again. And then um, if you want your, what is it, your equal, uh, sorry, not that. You can choose your equalizer to adjust your, um, all of your music settings and stuff like that. Press mode again. And then since you liked having the radio, I went ahead and used the old voice command button as the radio and you can assign um, answer calls and hang up so all of these buttons are assigned except for display because we want to keep that for her what's it called her dash so i like that mode and if you want to go to carplay is t-link 5 and then here you are you want to call somebody bam there was no install videos on how to actually pull all of your car stuff apart and put your radio in that's where this guy comes in. I came in freaking swinging on that one. So all we have to do, I haven't got into this yet, but there's a bunch of things back here to where if you wanted to hook up your sound system, your amplifier or whatever, if you have a big thumper in the trunk, you can hook up all of that. And the cool thing about it is there is a plug back here for a camera. Here's the mic plug. So we're gonna plug the mic in. We're gonna run the mic down here. We're gonna run it up to A-pillar and we always just put it right here. Stays out of the way of your um, your thing. So we'll, we'll hook that right there. Um, did I miss anything? I'm gonna put the car back together and uh, and then we'll, we'll close out this video. Well, overall, the fit and finish on this thing is literally next to fantastic. Next to fantastic. It's like perfect. Everything clipped back in right. The stereo had all the proper pockets for all these little clips. Um, I, I was able to put it back together in two seconds. We did get the mic up there. We also tested sound. Sounds great.
And uh, we started tricking this thing out a little bit. We got a little background on there now. Oh, it wants to connect the CarPlay already. No, we're not done. Yeah, I got a little background on there too. And um, if you swipe down, it takes you to your screen, swipe again, and it takes you to here and you can set up everything you want in the settings menu. See your network, you can go on your hotspot right here. And then if you wanted to connect to Bluetooth, Bluetooth, it tells you whose phones, my phone's hooked up. This thing is awesome. And then it comes with USBs. Now, um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty handy with wiring, so eventually, I'm going to uh, tap it into the stock one. That way my girl can be all fancy. But for now, what we did is there's two of them. We took one, we ran it down the console on this side for the passenger in case you need to charge. And then she has hers right here, just in case she wants to charge. I think it's a lot cleaner. That way you don't have to have this open. You don't have to be plugged into your cigarette lighter. So that is a very viable option for now. So um, overall, this probably took two and a half hours to install, but if I wasn't to do all the bullshit, I could probably install this in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It's hot as hell in here, guys. I'm out. But I just wanted to show you um, there was no full write-ups on this. Um, I will put the link in the description to the store. They are very helpful. And um, just remember, you need to tell them what type of uh, head in you have so they can send you the right uh, wiring harness. Mine was a whole CAN bus thing, but luckily we got everything working. Even the freaking radio. So... I'm super fired up about that. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Andrew Garza. You're watching the Side Modify YouTube channel. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>